Greetings, greetings, greetings. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? It's uh, it's Friday, Friday here in Angola, and um, I want to thank you guys um, for subscribing to the channel. I think we had 110 subscribers uh, today. Um, hopefully, um, we can get the 200 subscribers uh, by the end of the month, or maybe by the end of the other month, because it's almost the end of the month. But thank you so much. And again, like I like I said to you guys the last time, I realized a lot of people are viewing the videos and they're not subscribed to the channel. You know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stop what you're doing right now and hit that subscribe button. You know, it helps. You know, um, and if you like the content, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, today's Friday. Friday in Angola. You know, we're ringing a different kind of bell today. Wow. Uh, who said we would have gotten back to that point? Um, well, not even back to the point because... I don't think we've ever been in that at that particular uh, junction. Um, but nevertheless, uh, life has to go on. And if you're in the rest of the world, um, uh, we do have three three positive cases today in Angola. Um, but we have to do what we have to do, and we have to keep living, and we have to keep moving on, and that's what that's what we're gonna do. And so, um, and so that's what we're gonna do today. But but I just like I said, I just felt. A little let to do something slightly different today i had my video all queued up to go um but this week was was kind of one of those eye-opening weeks uh for me um in a simple way but i always take the simple things um you know and and blow them out of proportion and um and i wanted to I'll stop chewing i didn't realize i was chewing sorry about that that's it's kind of rude to be chewing while i'm talking to you guys let me get rid of that um but yeah, I wanted to share my week with you guys. So again, if you guys have been following uh, my story um, of Angular Music Academy, you would have known that on the um, on the evening of the of the launch of the new space, uh, you know, I had a bit of a, a mishap, um, or however you want to call it, a bit of a bit of a setback. Um, I think um, what I think really happened was um, was I finally understand what a panic attack is, what anxiety is, and it hit me. And I didn't know how to how to navigate myself through it. And um, and so it, it would seem to most people that I collapsed, but I didn't collapse. Um, but since after that, that really kind of, you know, put a really toll on me physically, mentally. Um, and um, and I couldn't ride my, my bike, my bicycle, because I have to be, be specific here because you know I'm a, I'm a motorcyclist too. I love motorcycles, um, but I couldn't ride my bicycle. But um, but this week I decided. Last week I decided. You know what? It's time to get back on the bike. It was a mental challenge for me getting back on the bike because you know, even now you know being in crowds and being in meetings and those kind of settings you know tend to you know drive my anxiety a little bit because you know the mind seem team, the mind wants to kind of replay the event. Um, and so the mind is very, very powerful. So even going back on the bike, you know, I feel like, oh, you'll fall, you know? And so that mental, that mental battle, um, I went through it for a while. And, but last week I decided, you know what? I think it's time to get back on the bike. I'm four days in and I'm so happy about it. You know, I feel so gen regenerated, rejuvenated. I feel, you know, alive in the morning, you know, your pores open up. And and it just make me it just make me realize how 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 enjoyable riding in the morning is how enjoyable cycling is, you know. And um, and so I'm back on the bike. Uh, so you may see me on the road. Um, and I feel like this is like a really really perfect time for me to have get back because now you know my body is all you know in a different kind of a cycle both mentally and physically. And even the news yesterday, you know, you know didn't hit me as 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 hard as it hit me the first time when I got the news about COVID. You know, so so I think all this is, you know, it's all part of it. You know, exercise is a good form of, of battling anxiety. And I do suffer with anxiety. Um, I'm not ashamed of it. Um, a lot of people are ashamed of, of saying it. I do suffer with anxiety. And um, most successful people do. Um, it's one of the traits. Um, we we tend to, to make things look like, look like it's easy. We tend to make things look like as if, you know, we got everything under control. But deep down in us, there's a there's a, a battle and a turmoil always going on, and nobody knows. Um, but nevertheless, like I say, we have to keep moving forward. And in life, that's what you do—you keep moving forward. Um, so that was one one really good lesson that I learned this week. You know, sometimes you have to just tell yourself, "Okay, it's time. 
it's time to start you out there again like i told you before you know you're procrastinating it's time for you to start now you have two weeks you have two weeks at home perfect time for you to start doing something start doing something constructive today you all there looking at me you know yeah you're looking at me you're spending all your time all your day on youtube on netflix on facebook talking a whole bunch of baloney do something constructive you know that two weeks that they gave you listen i'm grateful for that two weeks man i'm gonna spend two weeks with my boys here at the house you know we're gonna barbecue we're gonna we're gonna grill some fish you know we're gonna do some stuff you know um and and i know everybody don't have kids at home and everybody can't barbecue and everybody can't grill but you can find something constructive uh for you to do with that time um and i'm going to maximize and capitalize on that time as a matter of fact this morning i wrapped i wrapped a base you know i, I wrapped the base in carbon fiber you know it might seem like what is wrong with this dude you know you know the other day somebody told you you're gonna wrap everything in your house i say yeah i'm, I'm practicing you know i'm practicing this and life is about life is a journey that you know you never stop learning Every time I do something, every time I wrap something, you know, it, it, um, I learn something new, you know, and give me a different technique and a different skill. And so I, I love, I enjoy wrapping. I can stay here, you know, all day wrapping stuff. In talking about wrapping, you know, another valuable lesson I learned this week. Uh, my boy, Mark Fur from, from St. Martin, you know, he was, he's always telling me like, man, when we, when me and him spoke about, you know, me wanting to start doing wrapping stuff, Mark Fur is a veteran and that, you know, very, very skillful, you know, big up to Mark for shy guy from St. Martin, well, from Dominica, he lives in St. Martin. You know, I was talking to him and he's like, uh, bro, you got to use that brand. And I don't want to go calling names because this is not a paid advertisement. He's like, bro, you can't use, you can't use that, that stuff you're using to rap. If you really want to rap, you have to use that brand. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to go spend all that money, you know, because I was just looking at, you know, the economics, you know? Yeah. I wrapped my Jeep and I, and I bought the material for maybe like 500 bucks. And he's now telling me I should go buy material for fifteen hundred bucks, and I'm like, you know, the maths don't add up to me. The maths don't add up for me. But I, like I said, I learned a valuable lesson, and it's not the first time I learned this lesson. I'll give you another scenario where I learned this lesson again, and I can give you lots of scenarios where this lesson came into play. And I'm like, mm, sometimes you have to just spend the money. So I figured I'm gonna wrap my bike, my motorcycle. Again, like I said, I love motorcycles. I have two motorcycles. I have a, a Harley Davidson V Rod, and I have a, a Yamaha YZF uh, 600 that I just bought not too long ago. And I love motorcycles. The frill is just so relaxing, so therapeutic. You know, it's 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 a funny, funny feeling because you have to be so much alert when you're on a motorcycle, but it's it's yet so relaxing. I literally come home sometimes if I had it, jump on my bike go for a ride down west and come back headache is gone it's the most relaxing therapeutic uh, liberating thing that i do you know and in as much as in as much as i get anxious when i'm in a room with somebody sometimes i swing my leg over 600 cc's and rev it and it calms me which is the most which is the funniest thing ever i don't know how it does that um but Find what does that for you. You know, for me, it's motorcycles. But find what does that for you. And and I'm hoping it's not rum. I'm hoping it's not, you know, going out and, and, and having unprotected sex with everybody. Uh, I'm hoping it's not, you know, something destructive. I'm hoping it's something, you know, that that um, that you can find some joy in that's not detrimental to anybody else or detrimental to yourself. And yes, I know motorcycles are dangerous, um, but I'm a grown man. You know, and um, and um, and if I choose to ride a motorcycle, I think I am responsible enough to to ride a motorcycle, um, um, not endangering myself and and the life of others. And that's when you swing a leg over a motorcycle when you are responsible enough to make that decision um, that I'm not going to endanger myself and I'm not going to endanger others. You know, and I, I love riding. So again, like I said, I try wrapping my bike in that material. I did a good job. I think I did a good job. I'll give it a 50 over 50. I'll put a picture here on the screen and I'll put a video in the end and you tell me in the comment section what you're going to give me. And don't, don't be afraid. You can give me 10 over 100. You can give me whatever you want to give me. That's fine. I, I can take it. Um, but I personally think it's a 50 over 100. You know, I, I, that's what I would give it. That's what I would give myself because I know what I'm capable of. But that material I was using, back for you, all right, man. It just it can't do it it just can't do it 
So I should have just spent the extra money. I should have just spent the extra money. Yes, it cost me like about what 150 bucks for the material, the cheap material. I should have just spent 350, maybe 400, get the real material, and I'll be so much satisfied with the end product, you know. And and I'm saying that to say, you know, I'm gonna flip this around a little bit into a real life situation. You know, I have acquaintances, very very few friends that I see doing stuff that put in five minutes of time and they want to get out an hour. They put in 10 minutes of work, but they want to get out days out of it. You know, put in that time. You have to put in the time for you to be able to reap the reward. You know, Angular Music Academy for me is a eight, nine years journey. I mean, look at my beard, look at, you see what, you see what this thing is doing to me? This thing literally throw me down. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm not relaxed. I'm not relaxed. I'm not sitting and be like, oh, I got this, this place. No, no, no. That's not the kind of person I am. I'm still going to put in that work. And I'm always going to be putting in that work because that's, that's, that's what I was put here to do. Put in the work. And as long as I have breath in life, I'm going to put in that work. Um, but I've gotten to a point where, where I can sit back and look at it. I've gotten to a point where I can stay at the house and do my work. I've gotten to a point where if I feel like I don't have to go to the office for a week, I don't have to go to the office for a week because I can send my emails and take my Zoom calls from home, you know, but that's just because I put in eight, nine years of work, you know, so so when you come down to the space and you see it looking so lovely and so, you know, so enticing and so relaxing at the same time and so therapeutic at the same time, just remember that's eight, nine, ten years of work, you know, not five minutes, not five minutes not two seconds, not a quick thing. I know I'm doing a quick video here for you guys, but that's just because I feel led to, to share this with you all. And I know somebody's gonna be looking at this and they're gonna be wondering to themselves, what am I gonna do in these two weeks that I home doing nothing? Find something to do, you know? You can always find something to do. Get a book. I got books all over the place. This is a good one. This is a really good one. Get a book. You know, read. I may, I may, I haven't read in a while. I may start back reading this week. You know, get something. You know, do something constructive. That idea that you had, that you've been procrastinating about it. If you don't know what to do, give me a call. Put a comment in the comment section. Hit me up on Facebook. Let's talk about it a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll carve some time out just to see if I can help you push your idea forward. You know, and it might sound crazy to you, but trust me, it's not going to sound crazy to me. I'm telling you, I had the craziest idea, idea, idea ever. So. There's nothing that can be more crazy about doing a studio on a remote island where you have to basically ship in everything that you need. Like there's nothing more crazy than that. So trust me, I have, I've had the craziest like there ever. And, and we got it done, you know, with a great team and a great, you know, pool of people. We got it done. And, and, and I'm glad I said that too, because sometimes all we need is to collaborate. You know, half of the time we think that we can do this on our own. And we have a we have a tendency to want to do things on our own so we we can get the praise. You know, we want to be the one that say, okay, that's my stuff. You know, no, no, no. I can't I can't I can't do Angular Music Academy by myself. You know, big up to Dennis and Omar who's basically holding it down, you know, and Sam who just joined us and Kamoy. You know, I can't do this on my own. And James and Scott and Joe, you know, and 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 the rest of the people who, who you don't need to know about, you know. I can't do this on my own. You know, we don't want to collaborate. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning, you know, and it's just like encouraging her and just telling her, you know, like, you know, like, you know, if you need something, let me know because, 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 you know, because, you know, this thing, you know, this thing called life can't be lived by yourself. It wasn't meant to be, you know, and, and we were just, you know, conversing for five minutes and I was t talking about like collaborating and how, and how we have to collaborate with each other for us to be able to push each other forward. You know, she was inspired by my drive. And I was just telling her, I am inspired by your drive as well. And, and, and you know, and, and that's how it's supposed to be. Push each other forward and, and, and let people know how you feel about them. You know, if you feel that like somebody's doing something good, I don't personally need, I don't personally need any, any jollification or any justification or any award for what I'm doing. Because I'm doing it because I love to do it. And I'm doing it because I feel like that's, that's what I was put here to do. But sometimes some people need, they need a little bit of energy. Give, give a little bit of energy. What is going to hurt? It's not going to hurt you for it to just give a little bit of energy. Just tell someone, tell someone today 
but I appreciate what you're doing. You know, nothing is wrong with doing that. You know, the person is going to look at you and they're going to smile. And trust me, you're going to feel much better about it as opposed to, you know, going on Facebook and talking about them or, or saying, yeah, she thinks she could do it all or she thinks she know it all or she thinks she's some big time thing or he thinks he's some big timer because he got a studio and thing and thing and thing. Those things don't mean nothing. You know, we have to all go and leave those things behind. They don't mean nothing. I mean, look at us. Last week we were jumping, prancing up and down like it's nothing. Today, everybody's got a mask on their face and everybody's in lockdown mode together. That's, that's life. That's life. Go out there today and put in some time. Read a book. Do something constructive. You got two weeks. You're in Angola. You got two weeks. Do something constructive, you know. And like I say, if you need my help, I can't guarantee you that I'm going to help you get through it. But I'm just saying, like, you know, I might be able to share a light or two, you know. I might be able to give you an advice based on my experience. I might be able to share an advice if you're a word with you that might encourage you. And that's the most I can do for you, you know. Because I got my two boys and we, we're ready to go out and light the grill and and. That's that's my thing for the next two weeks, you know. I don't get that all the time, and that's what I'm gonna do. But um, but thank you so much for viewing the video. Like I said, I just really felt led to come out here and do this, and I'm doing this on my iPad, so my orientation is a little messed up. I I, I almost don't know where to look. I almost don't know where the lens is. So bear with me if you see me looking left, you see me looking right. Again, like I said, I just wanted to do this for you today because I felt like somebody needed to hear that message. I felt led to present that message to you and i hope i am being a messenger right now to someone out there who needs that message you know go out there put in that time if you have somebody in your life that doing something for you that you appreciate them for doing something for you tell them tell them you appreciate them my dad has this thing that he says i don't know if it's original to him or if it's give me my flowers while i'm living let me enjoy them while i can please don't wait till i'm dead to be buried and then put flowers in my hands if you feel like I'm doing something that is of value to you or to somebody else, tell me. Don't wait till I'm in the grave and then come and crying and putting flowers on my grave. I'm burn them. I'm burn all them, them flowers. Them flowers will just catch fire. If anybody put any flowers on my grave, if I go before you and you didn't tell me in my face while I was here that I'm doing something of purpose, then I will burn those flowers. So I don't want to scare anybody, but I'm just saying, go out there and tell somebody that what they're doing today is inspiring to you if it's inspiring to you i don't need that energy because i've learned how to fuel my own energy but somebody else needed it but guess what i need it too i need it too let me not say i don't need it i need it you know because it's gonna make me feel good it's gonna make me give me a drive so i need it i may not need it to break me to break me off of what i'm doing today and move forward but somebody else might need that you know but somebody did that for me so that's why i'm saying i don't need it now but i i do need it uh, so thank you so much again I just wanted to do this for you spontaneously and i know it's 18 minutes and counting i just start talking and stuff just start coming out but um enjoy this little quick video of um of me wrapping my bike with this cheap material that that taught me a lesson this week Macford, i got you bro i got you i'm coming i'm gonna get that real material i'm gonna save up some money i'm gonna get that real material so thank you so much guys again hit that subscribe button yes hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and don't be afraid to comment in the comment section if this video inspires you don't be afraid to let someone know if they are inspiring to you thank you so much i love you cool happy friday all right so here we go guys Carbon fiber back seat cowl, carbon fiber back fender, carbon fiber front fender, and then we have this candy, uh, this metallic satin red, so it kind of sparkles in the sun. The sun is not really out right now, so you can't really see the sparkles as well, but that's a really nice kind of sparkle to it in the sun. Might be able to see it on video. But like I said, it came out pretty well. I'm just not giving it 
like you know uh, lot of, lots of trouble boy lots of trouble with that candy metallic but um like i said it pretty, came out pretty well with the black and black and red kind of a film but um but yeah that's it guys my yamaha ycf 600 tricked out um let me turn it on so you could hear what she sound like and then i'll show you my That knows me anybody that know me knows that everything I have is for sale except my family so if you want this bad boy you can be in Dominica you can be anywhere you are and you want this bad boy hit me up we're gonna talk some business you can send me your money I'm gonna ship that stuff to you wherever you are or if you're in Anguilla you want to cap that bad boy off my hand I'm ready when you are bro I'm ready when you are check whatever it is I wouldn't it's not a good first beginner bike so i wouldn't encourage a beginner to hop on this bike but um but yeah if you're an experienced guy then hit me up and then i got my harley davidson still here sitting i have to go license it license is up and i'm thinking of wrapping it as well too 